wake of the shooting death of Fargo police officer Jake Walene, many are wondering what more can be done to protect our community from gun violence. Valley News seems Kirsty Madey talked with gun reform advocates, including a Clay County lawmaker hoping for change. Everybody involved in that incident, their lives are changed forever. And our whole community is in grief over this. Martha Wheeler is a volunteer for Moms Demand Action a grassroots movement fighting for stronger gun laws. For the last five years, she's worked in various roles, and she says her work has given her hope. Now I know things can change because I've seen laws change. The laws Wheeler is referring to include two gun control laws passed in Minnesota earlier this year. One expanding background checks and the other a so-called red flag law that allows loved ones and law enforcement to petition a court to temporarily restrict access to firearms by those deemed too dangerous to themselves and others. The Second Amendment says you have a right to bear arms, but as with all things within the Constitution, there are limits to that. But don't expect similar laws to be enacted in North Dakota, especially right away. Let's put in a couple of laws that we need to do. I'll talk about that another day. The binary trigger, specifically, which was used in the shooting of the Fargo officers on July 14th, is outlawed in Minnesota. However, in North Dakota, it's not only legal, but explicitly written into law. That is the intent of us passing that law, is for situations like this. Not everyone agrees on stricter gun legislation being part of the solution. Today, we attempted to contact local gun clubs and sellers, However, no one was willing to comment. In Moorhead, Kirstie Madey, Valley News Live. According to data collected by every stat, North Dakota has seen a 60% increase in gun deaths since 2012. It's worth noting, Attorney General Wrigley had said Fargo's police shooter was not on police's radar, so he would have passed any background checks and likely would not have been impacted by red flag laws. Mm -hmm. Nick, well,